Hello everyone, this is Mo at Mo Tactical Fitness. We're doing a quick tabletop review for you today of the Alien Gear Cloak Slide OWB holster. And I got this holster just recently, and unfortunately I'm going to be sending it back, and this video is just to explain why. These holsters are a really good deal. They're around $40, and that's why I got it, actually. I am not the kind of person that you know, has to spend a lot of money on products that they buy um, just because I have to have the best. I, I don't. Like sometimes uh, in my book on a lot of things, sometimes good enough is good enough. And so I thought I would give the Alien Gear holster a shot, spend $40 versus $100 and uh, see how it goes. Unfortunately it didn't work out and uh, I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, I'm going to put my firearm inside the holster. This firearm has been safety checked. I'm not going to show you that on screen because I think that's a waste of time. But I'm going to show you, if you look very closely here, this little piece right here is the issue. So this is, the firearm is fully in the holster. It does seat very well. It's, it, it fits perfectly fine. The problem is when you go to draw the weapon, as you can see my fingers, get jammed in between this piece of leather and here so I can't get a good and I have <laughs> pretty thin fingers actually and even my little thin fingers I can't if I kind of squish my hand in there and smash it in there it, it'll go but uh, it keeps from getting that you know that nice high grip that you want to get on the grip when you're um, drawing your weapon and, and that's basically why. If, if they just trim this down, and if you look at a lot of other holsters online, you'll see that that's, that's the case. This, this part is not uh, sort of cut in a way to, to conform for your hand to go in there. So it's a, it's a pretty, um, it's strange that they made that oversight. Um, but uh, that is basically the, the problem with the holster. Other than that, it's, it's pretty good, you know, for a $40 holster. Um, I think it, uh, I think it would be fine otherwise, and, uh, I'm going to send it back and maybe down the road if, if they adjust, uh, fix that, then, you know, I'll consider maybe buying one for one of my other firearms. Um, but for now, that's the only problem I could see with this holster. Someone else complained, uh, that I read a review, complained that these things, uh, these, the little straps here seemed flimsy. I'm not really sure. I, I only put the holster on one time and I, I'm not sure how that would hold up over time. They seem sturdy enough, um, so I have no complaint about that. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps uh, you in making your purchasing decision.